just kept on going, realized the landmarks have no room in this T20 game. What about the knockouts? We crossed that bridge. Hello, this is Unlimited Cricket with Harsha, where I'm in partnership with Indus Ind Bank, global partners of the ICC Men's T20 Cricket World Cup. And once again, India have gone absolutely serenely into the semi-final. They've dominated almost every opposition that, that's come their way, apart from the odd little tough game in, uh, in New York. They've been fantastic. But now the biggest troubles lie ahead. Nobody plays better than India in these group stages. But what about the knockouts? We cross that bridge when we come to it. For the moment, it's time to celebrate a powerful performance against Australia. We often use in these videos the word limitless. And I thought it sat in very well today with what Rohit Sharma did. In terms of power, in terms of skill, but also in terms of selflessness. It was always going to be a little tense. Australia, wonderful bowling side. But Rohit Sharma took on uh, Mitch Stark in the third over itself. He took 29 runs off him. And what was interesting about that was there was a very strong breeze coming in from, say, extra cover towards towards fine leg, towards long leg. And Rohit hit two sixes into that. It just, it just set it up. And there was a little stoppage for play. Rohit was 41 of 14 balls. That's the kind of start he gave. And he was laughing his way through it, as, as Rohit always does. He went on to make 92 of 41 balls. He lost Virat Kohli early, he lost Rishabh Pant, but then got a wonderful partner in Surya Kumar Yadav, who himself made 31 of 16. And that really was the partnership that set it all up for, uh, for India. Can you imagine? Rohit Sharma got out in the 12th over. He's on 92 in the 12th over. He had gone on, who knows how many he would have made. It's not the way he plays his cricket. He just kept on going, realized the landmarks have no room in this T20 game, which was, it was a fabulous inning. It's very easy to say one of Rohit Sharma's best because of the recency factor. You associate some Rohit Sharma innings with wonderful pull shots. I've often said he was born to play it, but the highlight of this innings was hitting through the offside. It just was so pleasing on the eye. Then Surya Kumar Yadav in his own way. He got out in the 15th over, by the way. And India actually decelerated a little bit towards the end. Got 43 in the back five. But got there because Hardik Pandya once again showed that he's coming back to being the kind of player he was at the end. Where he was, he was almost scary. There were two sixes that he hit of Marcus Toynis in the 19th over. Once again, straight down the ground. That showed the enormous power that he possesses. You just look at him. Slim. There's not a lot on him. But the power in his shot sometimes gives you the impression it's almost limitless. The moment India made 205, you thought, that's good enough. And it seemed that way. Arshdeep produced a beautiful swinger. Because of the wind, in coming, uh, in the wind coming over his, uh, say, from mid-off, and then Arshdeep Singh produced an absolutely brilliant ball. Because of the wind coming over from mid-off, it was helping his outswing. It started on off stump. Warner had to play a lovely catch by Surya Kumar Yadav. And he thought, right, the danger man is gone. The danger man was Travis Head. And after Mitch Marsh had survived a couple of chances, he started to get a move on. After nine overs, Australia are 87. And there was a moment of magic. That's it. A moment of magic. Up on the boundary... The ball is soaring over Akshar Patel's head. He's a tall man. He jumps up, his wrong hand, his right hand, and he and he pulls off a miraculous catch. I'll tell you if there's a there's a better catch in this tournament, I haven't seen it. I know Markram took a beautiful one the other day, but this has to be the catch of the tournament. In spite of that, Australia were marching ahead because Maxwell was playing those sweeps and reverse sweeps beautifully. After 11 overs, there are 116, only 90 to get from nine overs. And Travis Head was once again being the pain that he always is, the thorn in India's flesh. And it looked actually at that moment that they might be ahead. And then Rohit Sharma went to spin. Kuldeep Yadav was beautiful. He finished today with four overs, two for 24. But he came in and bowled two overs there. Akshar Patel bowled one excellent over, not giving the batsman any room at all. Three overs, one for 19. And the match had swung India's way. Then Bumrah came back, picked up the wicket of Travis Head. Arshdeep Singh got one and Australia were always going to be behind and eventually bowled out with 24 left. It was a very powerful performance by India. And they've told England who they meet next that this is the kind of cricket that you can expect from India. It was, it was wonderful. Now, I hope a lot of you are watching these YouTube videos and sending in your uh, predictions. 
We've picked three once again for you. There's some familiar names in there, but the predictions are very good. Let me just get there in a minute. Our first one is Sandeep Kishore. Sandeep Kishore says Pandya will score 25 plus runs. It was a brave prediction, Sandeep, because it didn't seem that there were enough overs at one point for Pandya to actually get to 25. So well done. That was Sandeep Kishore. Our next is... Ah, it's our old friend again, friendly Spidey, Prakash, who says Rohit Sharma will score 50 plus. Not only did he score 50 plus, he also broke a lot of records in getting there. It was the fastest 50 of the tournament. India scored more sixes than any other team against Australia, more runs than any other team against Australia in a T20 World Cup game. So that, that was a good call actually from, uh, from our friendly Spidey, Prakash. So well done, that was Prakash. And what did we get? We got Noel Suarez saying, Kuldeep will take at least two wickets. And that's a good call, actually, Noel, because he's an attacking bowler. He comes behind Bumrah and Ashdeep straight after the power play is gone. And they try to attack him and they've got no choice. So he picks up wickets. So that, that was very well done once again. So there you are. India have gone absolutely smoothly. They look the most dangerous team in this tournament, by the way. And, and I'm not trying to put the mockers on them. They always do. But this time they've looked very powerful. The bowling is looking good. Every day someone or the other is scoring runs. And Virat Kohli hasn't even fired yet. Can you imagine if he gets it right in the semi-finals and finals? So it's looking very good for India. Who knows what lies ahead? Do keep watching this program. Do keep watching our YouTube channels and uh, we'll get you much, much more as the tournament goes along. Fingers crossed. Maybe there's a lot of luck coming our way.